Hello again boys and girls. In this video we're going to read our story cultural festivals again. And you probably just watched a video with our vocabulary words in it. Now we are going to put our listening ears on and we are going to listen to see if we can find those vocabulary words in this story. And then at the end, I'm going to have a couple questions for you. So you need to be listening because you never know what I'm going to ask you. Okay, let's listen to this. Cultural festivals. What cultures do your neighbors come from? Celebrating the seasons. Giving thanks. Being with friends and family. People do all of these things during cultural festivals. Festivals are times to celebrate events or holidays that are important to different cultures around the world. People come together at a festival to enjoy delicious food, beautiful decorations, music, and dancing. Some festivals last for one day, while others last for more than a week. In some places, stores close and people stay home from school or from work to celebrate with friends and family. People also celebrate festivals to honor important events in their culture's history. Giving gifts or eating certain foods is part of every festival around the world. People from many different cultures celebrate festivals in the United States every year. So what vocabulary word did you hear in that section? I heard the word cultures and they used that word several times. Let's look at the next one, the next part of it. Let's see what vocabulary words we can hear in this part. Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that is celebrated in Mexico. The name of this holiday means 5th of May in Spanish. It celebrates the date that the Mexican army won an important battle many years ago. In the United States, people who celebrate Cinco de Mayo often march in parades and gather together to listen to mariachi music. A mariachi band has violins, trumpets, and a guitar. During Cinco de Mayo, people dance in the streets to this lively music. People often visit street fairs during Cinco de Mayo. There, they can buy traditional Mexican food, such as tacos, spicy tortilla soup, and guacamole. There are also vegetables and plenty of fresh salsa. People make special foods at home, too. Celebrating Cinco de Mayo festivals is one way that people show that they are proud of their culture. People often display the Mexican flag outside their homes on this day. So in that section, what vocabulary word did you hear? I heard the word proud in that section. Also, one of our vocabulary words is tradition. In this section, I didn't hear tradition, but I heard the word traditional, which is very similar to tradition. Let's go to the next section. In India, people celebrate a festival called Diwali, or the Festival of Lights. People celebrate this festival for different reasons. Some people celebrate an important event in India's history. Others celebrate good luck for the new year. Diwali celebrations take place in many countries in the world. People celebrate Diwali for five days. On the first day, people clean their homes. On the second day, they decorate their homes with lamps. Then, on the third day, they light the lamps and candles. At night, they watch colorful fireworks light up the sky. During the last two days of Diwali, people visit their friends and family. Together, they share a feast of traditional Indian food. Another important tradition during Diwali is giving gifts to friends and family. Often these gifts are sweets or flowers made from gold and silver. People also exchange candles and clay lamps. People also celebrate Diwali by playing games with their friends or family. The winners feel lucky 
If you lose, you can look forward to winning a game at next year's Diwali festival. What vocabulary word did you hear in that one? I heard the word tradition in that one. Let's listen to the next section and see what we can hear. Tet is a celebration in Vietnam to welcome the new year. It is a joyful time when people appreciate everything that is new in their lives and in the world. To get ready for Tet, people clean and decorate their homes. They might even paint the outside so it looks fresh and clean. People also buy new clothes. On Tet, people prefer to decorate the doors of their homes with a red ribbon. They believe that the color red can keep them safe. For this reason, parents often give their children money in red envelopes. Parades and traditional dances take place on the first day of Tet. These special celebrations can continue for a week. During one Tet parade, people wear masks while they dance in the street. After the parade, families gather together to eat traditional foods from Vietnam. These foods include fruit and sticky rice cakes. Tet is special in another way too. Each New Year is named after a different animal. Children from Vietnam do not always say the year they were born. Instead, they might say they were born in the year of the goat. So, what vocabulary words did you hear there? I heard two of them. I heard appreciate, and I heard prefer. Those are two vocabulary words. So, in that story, we had all five of our words. We had cultures, appreciate, proud, tradition, and prefer. All of those were in that story. Now, I have a couple of questions for you. What are special ways of celebrating Cinco de Mayo? Think back to Cinco de Mayo. What are some special ways of celebrating it? Do you remember? Let's listen to it again. Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that is celebrated in Mexico. The name of this holiday means 5th of May in Spanish. It celebrates the date that the Mexican army won an important battle many years ago. In the United States, people who celebrate Cinco de Mayo often march in parades and gather together to listen to mariachi music. A mariachi band has violins, trumpets, and a guitar. During Cinco de Mayo, people dance in the streets to this lively music. People often visit street fairs during Cinco de Mayo. There, they can buy traditional Mexican food, such as tacos, spicy tortilla soup, and guacamole. There are also vegetables and plenty of fresh salsa. People make special foods at home, too. Celebrating Cinco de Mayo festivals is one way that people show that they are proud of their culture. People often display the Mexican flag outside their homes on this day. So, people have parades, they listen to mariachi music, and they visit these street fairs, and they eat tacos and spicy tortilla soup and other traditional Mexican foods. Now, think about this next section here, about Diwali. What is a tradition during Diwali? They talked about several things, but one of them is giving gifts to friends and family. So, we have our own traditions, um, some of us do, where we give gifts to fa friends and family at different times of the year. Maybe we get gifts on our birthday, maybe we give gifts to our mother on Mother's Day and to our father on Father's Day. Maybe we give gifts at Christmas time, but Diwali is another time of year that many people celebrate where they give gifts to their friends and family. 
Thank you for listening to this video today, boys and girls. Have a great day.